<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. We are still at the 2022 New York Auto Show and behind me we have a Kia Carnival Prestige. Now I've done a Kia Carnival tour before but not this trim level so I want to dive in to this very expensive trim and see what exactly is happening with the dentist chairs that are the back seat. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two and a certified child passenger safety tech. Okay, let's get started on the Kia Carnival Prestige minivan. Okay, so Kia has really caught the attention of, I guess mainly our community, the mom community, with this minivan because they are not calling it a minivan, they're calling it an MPV, a multi-purpose vehicle. And it has been described by me as an ugly SUV or a good looking minivan. It's somewhere in the middle and I'm kind of excited about it. Comment below what you guys think of the exterior. They are, I will say, hard to get your hands on. This one has an MSRP of $48,000. Not to ruin your dreams, but you will pay nowhere close to that. I have seen carnivals go for over $15,000 over MSRP with 18 month waits. So they are hard to find. It's basically like a unicorn. I'm sure eventually they will be more readily available, but for now, this thing's hard to find. So I'm gonna do a really thorough tour just in case you do find yourself in a situation where you may have to be placing an order on a car you've never seen. I'm gonna try to give you all the information you would need right down to the car seat setup and how it could work for your family. Let's start with the exterior. Okay, I think it's cute. I think it's fresh. I actually love the front end of the carnival. I like a lot about the exterior except for one part which I will be sure to point out. I'm so into the new Kia logo. It's a little controversial. I love it. I think this grill is beautiful. This like chromed out rectangles I think looks great. I love the intricate headlights. Like this is what I would love to see on the Telluride. Like the Telluride seems like such an afterthought when even the minivan has cooler headlights than the Telluride. Okay and then we move along to our side profile. We take a look at the wheels. 19 inch wheels. I actually think the wheels look kind of nice. I mean blacked out wheels on a minivan. I mean does that mean it's like about to go out of style? We'll see. Okay coming along to the rest of the side profile we've got this big black piece right here. I'm not obsessed with that. Would probably prefer that to be body color. The chrome door handles do look nice, chrome roof rails. This is what I hate. This is Hersey vibes. I do not like this, it makes it look like a Hersey. It's not so bad in the blue, but I'm telling you, you see this on a black one, like you would be shocked. Let's continue on to the back end. We've got our little door slit right here. Would love to see that just like put into the window to kind of clean up this lines. And then we start with our wrap around tail lights. Back end, also interesting. I just like don't like these light bars. I just feel like that's a personal preference for me. It's, it's just not my preference. We've got the Kia logo in there. I don't know, I'm just like not obsessed. But besides that, back end is pretty simple. Love that they tucked the wiper underneath there to kind of clean this part up. It's just this like big red bar that's just like not doing it for me. But anyway, that's the exterior. So what do you guys think? Is it a good looking minivan? Is it a bad looking SUV? But now let's get into the interior and talk about how family friendly it is. Okay guys, here I am in the driver's seat of this Kia Carnival. Let's break down my driver's comforts. We'll start with the door panel. A lot of piano black. Not, I mean it looks nice, it's a little fingerprint city and I'm honestly not loving this with this color of leather. I'm sorry Kia, like I normally love a fun leather but like this is like basketball vibes. It's just too much and like there's so much of it in here too. Like it's just like so much basketball. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, breaking down our side cubbies right here. Pretty shallow, long but shallow. Definitely enough room for a water bottle. We do have the Bose sound system in this prestige one. Okay, let's get to the other side and then we'll really talk about some of the fun stuff. Let's start breaking down some of the features in this Kia Carnival. Okay, we have our wireless charger right here, a little bit of a change collector, US, three USBs actually, that's exciting. So right here we have two cup holders and we have a phone holder. Like it's literally the perfect size, which I think is so fun. I just like love when things have a place. They kept the standard shifter in here which is fine, takes up a little bit of room, but I'm okay with it. Auto hold, parking brake, ventilated seats and heated seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. Another little cubby space and then two more cup holders. Fun, fun, fun. Inside our center console, honestly for a minivan they could do better. They could do better for this being a minivan. They could also have given us the purse holder down here. Would have also loved to see that. Uh, we do have a sunroof here with sunroofs in the back seat as well. But what I really want to spend this tour doing is going over the dentist chairs in the third row because I really feel like 
they took the benefits of a minivan and then destroyed them. And I don't know why. Well, I'll show you when we get back there. Okay, here we are in the second row of the Kia Carnival Prestige. And I know this looks cool, but unfortunately, now I'm gonna be a buzzkill. This encourages super unsafe driving. One, no one, this is not a safe vehicle position. If you are, buckle up and you get in a collision, like this is not the optimal seating position for safety. And if you look in the owner's manual, it specifically says you cannot drive when seated like this. So this is all worthless and useless. Not a fan. It's also all power right here, which can be a little concerning when you think about the fact that there could be children sitting in these seats, who then if this can't lock, then they have total access to recline their seat, put their footrest out, and just do a lot of unsafe things. I know like this is roomy, but now I am touching the third row. I'm so close to this seat. Like this is actually, this has now actually become a four passenger car. All right, so you're probably wondering, so Kelly, why is it unsafe to drive like this? Well, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a visual. So as you can see, I'm reclined. People can recline their seats buckled all of the time, especially when we're pregnant because it makes it easier for us to breathe. But here's why that can be a danger. If you are reclined and you're relaxing like this and then you get in a front collision, your body can slide forward like this because the seat back is such an integral part. And then there we have seen major damages to the abdomen and to the chest when the seatbelt is like this and even people slide out. So I'm by no means trying to be a buzzkill or the safety police. I love a good feature. You guys know that. I like to keep it fun, but I gotta put my foot down, Kia. I gotta put my foot down on this car. And again, this is just on the Carnival Prestige. The other Carnival does not have these seats, so I'm just really mad at the Prestige right now. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna say on the dentist chairs. And I just wanna remind everybody, we do have a full Carnival tour where I brought car seats, I brought a stroller, and you can find a link to that in the description box below. All right, let's continue on with the tour. So I've already told you I hate the dentist chairs for so many reasons, but pretending that we're not ever gonna use that, let's just kind of talk about the driver's or the passenger comfort. So we do have ceiling vents in the Carnival, absolutely obsessed with that. Our climate control is right here, and then we even have our own sunroof in the second row, which is fun. These two cup holders could also be used for either the front drivers or the passengers back here. I've got an outlet, love an outlet, especially for pumping mom, so you can pump on the go. 12 volts, little pockets right here, and then we have these screens. Not my favorite for a few reasons. One, if you have a rear-facing car seat, it takes up quite a bit of room, and I'm gonna be honest, with how big these seats are, I'm like already looking for some more space. It also can encourage some unsafe behavior because, I mean, I'm six feet tall and I'm not even touching it right now. So imagine a child leaning forward, unsafely buckled. It can just kind of cause some problems. I would really like them to put the screens back up here. Like, I just missed that. I thought, thought the whole family could see it. That's what we always had growing up. I don't really know why we need to have them here. I would just, I like them up there. Comment below what you think. Okay, so anyway, let's kind of get to the meat of this, which is the seat. So in the Prestige, I guess you would call these captain's chairs, but the problem is now there's no aisle. So that's kind of interesting. In these two chairs, we have lower anchors in both seats, tether anchors in both seats. In the third row, we have lower anchors on the driver's side seat and then three tether anchors across the bench. We will show you that in a second. Okay, some other features I love about this Carnival is they do have the USBs on the back of the seat. I think that's awesome. And we even have built-in sunshades, which this is a big window. So to have like a built-in sunshade that wide is exciting and I do appreciate that. Uh, also on the Prestige, we do have heated and ventilated seats back here, which is kind of cool. So anyway, let's try to get to the third row and then let's talk about the third row and then we'll look at the trunk space. All right, here I am in the third row of this Kia Carnival Prestige. We're gonna be honest, couldn't even figure out how to access the third row. Not even sure there is. We're gonna be Googling the owner's manual. Either way though, if I can't figure it out and I do this for a profession, I don't think a seven year old could figure it out either. This is, I'm kind of feeling really sassy at this car right now. Third row's fine. Um, I've got ceiling vents still, I've got USBs, two cup holders on both sides, which is nice. Middle seat is super small, don't think you could fit literally anything there. But the outboard seats are pretty comfortable. I think what just makes this Prestige one difficult is the seats are so big. So it's a little, um, I mean, if you see how this seat is, like I, this is what I had to do just to be able to climb back here. But because the seats are so big, like if you had a rear facing car seat here, you'd have to push this seat back a little bit and it would really start to cut into the leg room in the third row. Okay, so we did pull up the owner's manual and this little rubber knobby thing is supposed to let me access get out of the third row however it's not working we don't know if we're like missing a piece or something i we can't figure it out okay let's look at the trunk trunk space well here's what we love about an suv we love a deep trunk space like how freaking nice is that love okay looks great easy to um give yourself some more cargo space because in my experience over the last 15 minutes i don't think this is a very good um third row or second row, you can't really do much, so I would just want to put this down. Easy peasy, right? C 
seats just fold right in and then look at this cargo space now. And now you have a four passenger car. So now you bought a minivan for a four passenger vehicle. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap up this tour of this Kia Carnival Prestige. Obviously I hated it. Um, I don't hate the Carnival, I want that to be clear. I think like, look at the SX trim, like just go look at something more like that, that makes a lot more sense. But like, this is not a luxury minivan for families. It's clunky, it doesn't work for car seats, it doesn't work for the third row. And I don't honestly like much about it at all, especially not the price tag.